guys, Jeff from Smoking Tea Jets. Just got this off of eBay, and uh, boy, they listed as excellent condition. And uh, the reason I'm making the video about this is, uh, you know, uh, one, we're going to get into it here and see, you know, if the chassis runs and all that stuff, see if we need to clean it up. Maybe, uh, I, I like the wheels and everything. Look at the way the wheels are. I mean, uh, boy, they got some uh, really nice rims and uh, tires on there. Um, but uh, my point is, is um, and, and it's my fault. I, 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 I uh, you know, excellent condition. Well, I know what excellent condition is, guys. But um, here's the thing, and I've got, I've got stuck with a couple pieces like this. And again, it's my fault. When you take a picture of something, or you know, a photograph, or even a video like I'm doing, I'm taking it at such an angle to where, listen, guys, you really don't see how the back wheel wells have been shaved. Well, he didn't disclose that in the. Uh, didn't disclose that in the uh, eBay. He said it was in excellent condition. But if you photograph it from like there, you know, or even video it from the proper angle, look at the uh, rear wheel well. You can't see it in the angle that I had just a bit ago. Look at the chip on the front fender. Now, I recall bidding on it, and I, again, I was on my iPhone when I did, and I thought it may have been a little bit of dirt or something like that, but you put it in the perspective to where it doesn't look like a chip, I don't want to say it completely goes away, and I don't want to say he was trying to make it look less like it was in the pictures on eBay, but guys, it, you couldn't tell that the wheel wells were shaved, and again, it looked like a little smudge rather than a chip in the fender. So uh, again, my fault for not asking questions prior to it. But if someone's trying to um, pull something over on you or be sneaky, if 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 that is the case, uh, you might want to require more or better pictures. Because look at this side. Um, again, the back wheel well uh, shaved uh, a little bit more than I would like to have it done. And I don't consider this to be an excellent condition. So anyways, guys, my fault. Um, it does have some issues. You know, I, I, I'm torn. I don't know if I should just leave it as is or try to clean up the wheel wells and you know, I've got the tools to do it, to do it properly. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, let's do this. I'll set it up on the track and let's just check to see if the uh, chassis runs. Maybe we'll get some good news. Got it on. See what we get. Well, okay, well, we have a chassis that runs. Um, again, I like the tires. I like the rims. Screaming for oil, though, huh? Let's, uh, something needs oil. Let's see what we got. All right, well, the shoes got some, uh, they got some oxidation on them. Um, I do, I do like the tires, I like the rims. What else we got there, guys? A closed rivet chassis. Uh, looks like all the parts are there, the bumpers are in good condition. So, uh, once again, if you um not too sure about the piece like I was, you know, I, I went by his description being excellent. Obviously, it's less than excellent. But let's get into the chassis. Let's get into the body. I'm still considering whether I should clean up the wheel wells or not. Um, I might just leave it as is. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. Hey, we're going to get back to that blue one in just a sec. Look at this, bud. Look at this. I mean, look at the front bumper, guys. Um, how well the, the headlights there, the, look at the flowers, flowers are right there, um, nothing carved on the wheel wells, guys, look at that, just really, 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 really strong, um, back bumper all there, look at the back, um, the tail lights, everything, just really, really strong, um, again, that was my impression when I saw this on eBay, now, as I'm turning it, and I'm going to try to focus in here a little bit better, but you see the crack above the uh, uh, driver's side there, uh, where the roof is in the uh, window post? Yeah, well, I tell you what, I tell you what, guys. You film that bugger like this, you take a picture of it like this, what happens? It disappears, it disappears. Guys, uh, do you see anything matter with the uh, sign here? Yeah, I don't either, I don't either. So again, if you take a picture of it like that, my gosh, it's a gorgeous Volkswagen, isn't it? It's just absolutely stunning. Now, again, again, if you take a picture like this and properly note it, and I'm going to put some, um, you know, indicators on the video, but every window post there, guys, is cracked. I mean, cracked all the way through, not just crack, crack, cracked all the way through. Yes, does it present well? Does it present well? Is it in uh, excellent condition? Not if it's cracked in four damn places, guys. I'm sorry, it's not. That's not in mint or nice or great condition. It's cracked in four damn places. 
So again, does it present? Well, yeah, kind of, kind of, sure. But when you start, oh, well, let me re-oil it or something like that, then all of a sudden the windshield falls out because it's not being held in properly by the body because the body's cracked. It's like, uh, that's really not excellent. It's really not excellent. So uh, anyways, we're going to get into that uh, blue one here in just a second. And uh, I, I, I know I made reference to it. Uh, this is another one I've been burned on on eBay. Again, it presents well, but it's really not. You know, it's all cracked. All right, all right guys, give me just a sec. I'll resituate the camera here. All right, moved it over to the bench here. What I'll do next is I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the uh, body off the chassis. Um, don't know if we're going to start with the chassis first or look at the body, look at the wheel wall, see what we can do. But uh, let me just go ahead and uh, get it apart. Just a quick note, I, I, I was starting to undo it, but what's interesting is, yeah, we see some oxidation, that'll clean up real good. Um, that'll all come off with a wire brush and the uh, uh, drum I got over there. But when you see oxidation, like on the screws and stuff like that, you know, just totally, totally oxidated, you know this bugger hadn't been played with for a while, you know it hasn't. It, it, you know, uh, anybody who's playing with them, uh, you know, we keep them oiled and, you know, all that stuff, but you can, you can truly tell when you get a piece and they say, hey, it's from an estate sale and, you know, um, Obviously, no one's been playing with this. Obviously, no one's been playing with it. All right, let me go ahead and uh, get the uh, body off the chassis. All right, guys, well, we do have some good news. Uh, both the bumpers are good. They're intact. You got the uh, proper long screw that you need for the um, uh, the, the bugs. Um, so, you know, um, we do have some good news. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean this bugger up here. I'm really considering just trying to straighten out the flatness that he, I don't know if they did it with an exacto knife or what but it's um, I don't want to say poor at best but not not done as, as well as it could be um, what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and wash the body up uh, the uh, chassis itself chassis I tell you what um, I think it's going to scream I really do I think it's going to scream whoever was putting the uh, the wheels and the hubs and everything on there really nailed it you know the, I know it sounded like it needs some oil but I think it's gonna uh, do quite well don't know if I'll leave the uh, wheels the tires on you know like that I don't know if I'll dress it up to where it should look like a normal t-jet but we'll see we'll see how it goes all right cleaned up real well you see I'm, I don't want to say jagged but unsmooth how's that unsmooth that dirt wheel wells are there's a couple ways to do it, guys. Uh, one, these, these bugs, for one, these bugs, it's like a thinner plastic than most, most of the T-Jets, you know? It's just like a really, 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 really thin in, 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 in um, spots. Um, I don't know if I'll take a Dremel to it or um, if I'll just take like a, um, a dowel or like a pencil and wrap some sandpaper around it and just do it very, very slowly and see if I can just get more of a round on it rather than... Um, flat, jagged, uh, you know, well, he didn't, it, it could have been better, could have been better. So, um, let me see, let, let's see if I can clean it up just a little bit. Working the, uh, uh, the, the back wheel wells, just, I don't go sideways, guys, I, I always, and I just take my time, I put it in, I make sure that, you know, it's, it, they're, they're both on the same, you know, um, I, I, I try to do both wheel wells at the same time when I can, and I, I've got some roundness to them. They're starting to look better, not quite done yet, but guys, just take your time. I, I'm doing it real slow here. When I have it in front of me, you know, I do a little bit faster, but I don't go side to side like that. I, I do it in that type of motion, guys, and you get, you get a nice roundness when you do it that way. Just take your time. Just take your time with it. All right, just finish it up. What do you think? better better than that flat uneven jagged you know I, I, I wish the uh, wheel walls weren't touched at all but rather than having something that's grossly obvious now that if you do want to have a little bit bigger tires it's going to look nicer than uh, what we had there a bit ago so um, let me do this we'll do I'll put this aside and uh, let's jump into the chassis let's see what we got going on the chassis just wanted to make a quick note, uh, kind of like uh, you know, myth, myth busters here, guys. It, it just cracks me up a lot of times. I just took off the uh, back axle, front axle, obviously. Take it off the back axle and get a wad of cat hair off the darn thing. Uh, you know, contrary to popular popular belief, uh, having cat hair uh, around the back axle does not increase the speed of the T-Jet. 
So uh, just a little helpful hint there, guys. It just it just cracked me up. I, I get the I get the dirt and axle out. It's like look at this. Look you know look at this. Well, that's you know problem number one. You know, cat hair does not help the speed of a TJ. Well, I guess it helps it decrease, but it just again it just it's just too funny. All right, just a sec. All right, got everything disassembled. Looks like all the pieces are there. We know it ran to begin with. So hopefully after we clean it, it'll run after uh, we clean it, and it'll run better, even better after we oil it. So uh, I'll do uh, the uh, normal cleaning like I do. I'll get my uh, wire Dremel out. We'll make sure that the shoes don't have any more oxidation on them. Uh, I'll clean the contacts where the uh, brushes hit those little springs that are in the chassis there. Uh, let's check the bottom plate real quick while I'm thinking about it. Not too bad, guys. Boy, that bottom plate looks pretty good. Uh, probably touch on that just a little bit. Um, I, I use the uh, wire brush and the Dremel. Only takes a second to clean that up. But boy, it looks pretty good. Looks like it hadn't been used much. Um, when I, I the uh, magnets, I took the uh, uh, magnets out just a bit ago. Pretty strong. I, I didn't see um, like any. A lot of times the high performance magnets they, they have, they're painted blue or white or have some different colors to them. But these are just very strong. They might be stock magnets, but they're very very strong. Okay, guys, and um, let's do some cleaning and a little bit of reassembling and see if we can get this thing flying around the track. Hey, guys, about halfway done here with the uh, cleaning up. Look at, look at the shoes. Shoes are just no more no more the oxidation on there. Uh, the, the chassis itself come out real good. The, um, the springs that hold the brushes up against the uh, bottom of the comp plate there, they're nice and shiny now. Looks like the tension's pretty good on them. Um, I'll see if it needs to be adjusted after we get it put together. The bottom of the, um, the engine plate, the comp plate there, looks really, really, really good. Um, I haven't refreshed the springs yet. I'm just getting ready to tackle the uh, brushes down there. And what I do is I, I always have like a little business card here with the brushes, and I just rub the brushes over, uh, you know, on each side of the um, uh, of the brushes, rub them over the business card, and it's a really good way, really quick way, really easy way to clean them. So I will finish cleaning um, those, uh, refresh the springs, and do some reassembly. Just another quick note, guys. Uh, the crown gear over there, yeah, right there, the crown gear. Um, again, contrary to popular belief, a uh, cat hair in uh, the crown gear itself um, doesn't help the T jet to go faster. So uh, I was in the middle of reassembling here, and I realized I neglected to clean the crown gear. So after cleaning it, uh, I'm going to continue reassembling. But I did want to make that note. I, I, I'm getting ready to put the back axle on, and I just. I'm going with the classic. I'm going with the uh, the you know the old uh, way the uh, bugs were when not not the tough ones, but like the original T Jet chassis set up. You know the the skinny tires, the the hubs. I'm going with those guys. I've always liked that look on the bugs, so I'm going with the classic look. Got the chassis all put back together, guys. Uh, gonna throw some oil on it and uh, finish the reassembling. Gonna go ahead and put the uh, body on, and then we'll watch it go around the track. Not too bad now, huh? Back wheel walls, not bad, not bad, not bad. It's still the chip in the front there, the front fender. Um, man, I'm, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm just going to leave it as is. I was thinking about doing because um, I like the way the uh, the bugs look with it. Thinking about coupling it with a uh, airstream, you know. I think it looks good. I've sold a few of them like that. They they, they do real good. And um, the curve of the bug, the airstream. I don't know. They they, they seem to go real well. The red one, the yellow one, um, the, the the blue one, the green one. I like them all with the airstream. That's like, man, they really look good. All right, guys. So uh, let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the track, and uh, let's see how it runs. All right, just got it on the track. Got the transformer. Yeah, took right off, didn't it? Look at that. Sweet. Nice and shiny too. Like it. Runs real good. I'm liking the chassis. I like the chassis a lot. I like that a lot. Very good. Strong just sitting there. Just an idea, guys, with these. Um, I was talking about earlier, they both have issues. Uh, the cracks and whatnot. But they both present well now. They both present very, very well. Um, are there are the issues significant? Well, not enough as, as far as to like, oh my god, look what's going on on them. Again, they're very subtle. They're very subtle, but they both have issues. And it, what just hit me, what I'm getting at is, is I'm, you know, obviously I, I like to disclose like on eBay, 
you know, if something does, uh, one of the pieces does have an issue, I, I like to disclose what it is. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about getting one of the um, Airstream trailers and um, offering it with either one of the bugs. Now the thing about doing that is, is when on eBay, when you give somebody, hey, listen, you get to pick one of these plus an Airstream trailer, let me know which one you want. It's kind of a fun auction for everybody. You know, I don't know which one would go better or not better. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a fun way to do auction. And, and let, let's say you like both pieces, but you really need a blue one and you need a blue runner. Well, hey, you got one. Or if you, you really want to yell, you know, it, it, either way is fine. Either way is fine. So it's, a, it's just an idea for you guys if you do uh, uh, eBay um, like I do. It's just it's a, it's a fun way to do the auctions. All right, guys, I'm going to call it. Um, this one's restored. I'm going to, you know, call it quits on this one. All right, guys, see you in the next video.